What's up, guys? What's up, Dom? What up, Nino? What up, Disco? What's up? Yo, I saw you the other day, so I guess since I always look up stuff on you and Ray, your names are in my algorithm and like random will show up. I very much enjoyed the video of you and Rhea Ripley going through Australian snacks. <laughs> but yeah. I will say this. I have no clue on God's earth how you like that Vegemite. So I was actually pretty surprised I enjoyed the Vegemite because what had happened was everyone was like, you know, it's going to taste like shit. But of course, you know, being a Mexican, I love saltiness, whether it's right. like Very salty salty. chips or like, you know, salsa. Like even when you get like, when you go to a Mexican restaurant, you get your chips and salsa. Right. When I dip my chip in the salsa, I grab the salt and I put more salt on it. Right. So I'm a salty dude. So when I tried the Vegemite, I was like, this ain't that bad, to be honest. I was brutal. So I listened to my experience with it real quick. So when I was in the military, bro, we went to Australia, okay, the Navy. Yeah. And they gave it to me there, and I thought it was chocolate. Oh, so I opened it up. And I stuck my finger in it and I ate and it was absolutely gross. Yeah. So when I first saw it, I, it looked like uh like mole of some type. Yeah, a little bit. So, but yeah, it's definitely not mole. It's salty. But they but, got uh, some good snacks. They do. Their, their yeah. snacks are, are pretty fire. Yeah. What well, are you going to say, D.I.? I, I want to talk to Donald because we, how many times have you done on the show? Is this your fourth fourth time or third time? Uh, I don't know. Fourth. Uh, oh, yeah. No, here's my favorite like part about Dom. The the first no, time he, the it, first time he came on with Ray. Now he can come on by himself. Ray by himself. Yeah, man. Well, let's yeah, talk. I want to talk about that. You you've you've physically improved exponentially since you first came on the show. Like when when you were on TV for that first, you know, oh, you, you didn't look like show. you really worked out. You looked like like a kid up, like like a kid out there, right? Mm. What what have you done? Like, and I know they kind of like, told, like said, yeah, I, I imagine probably told you, you got to get in better shape, right? So what did you do to, so, so, so like, what, what, what's your routine now when you're on the, like, like, how did you get, how did you get in better shape? And like, what did, what did you do to like, to, to, to train? Uh, I think the key for me was just consistency. You know, I've never, I've never really been consistent with anything. And even still to this day, I, I struggle with consistency. Um, but it got to a point where after I had turned on my dad, um, they had asked me if I was sure. if I was okay, you know, going to Orlando and doing the whole process of the PC because I had skipped that whole process for about two years. Right. Yeah. Um, so me being a team player, I was like, yeah, you know, whatever you guys need. And being there in, in Orlando kind of helped me um, be kind of more consistent because I had nothing, I had nothing to do in Orlando other than work out and go to the PC. Um, so I'd I'd go and work out at the PC, and then after that, I'd even go work out with Austin, uh, Austin Theory. And I was uh, when I first turned to on the road, being with him, uh, just you know, staying and consistent in the gym on the road with him, eating right. Even now, traveling with uh, with Finn, Damien, and Rhea and JD, and I can't tell you like the last time we don't send a group text like Jim uh right before TV every time we're on the road Saturday Sunday Monday we're always at the gym so it's something that I've uh that they've helped me with you know being on the road just staying consistent well yeah, I think, this, and, and, well, and, let I, me let me figure out because this is what I'm interested in yeah I want to go like so, so back when when we would travel together right the the boys were very consistent on like where we ate when we're on the road it was either like if you went to a town Outback Steakhouse was open you you would go to Outback Steaks. You would get uh, whoops. Lost him for a second. Just in case. Joe, it, it, is it snowing in Philadelphia? No, actually, it's a little bit warm. Why do you look like know. you're sunburned? Right. I don't know what happened. You're back. These energy okay. drinks keep keep making me right. red. Right. Man. So so let me so 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 Don, like back in the day, we like we we would have our go to places when we're all trapped. You know, me, Conan, Jericho, Eddie, and stuff like we'd all be traveling. We'd all go to the same places like Benoit and stuff. Like after the show, we'd do like TJI Fridays. Guys would have a couple beers and like ch two, two chicken breasts and rice. If, we, if we're on like in the afternoon, we go to Outback Steaks. You know, we'd get like steak, rice or sweet potato and, and broccoli. Uh, if you went to like Denny's or I IHOP or like Waffle House, you'd get like six scrambled egg whites, grilled chicken breasts and like steamed hash browns. You know, stuff like everybody, everybody kind of ate the same. Well, but that's back when like carbs were a thing. You know, back, back 20 years ago. What, what are you guys like when you're on the road and you guys like, do you have like your set places to go? Like, 
your kind of go to places that are kind of like every, every time we go eat? Like, what, what are they like these days? I would say so. You know, it's still pretty consistent with, and honestly, it depends who I'm on the road with because Damien doesn't like Waffle House, but I love Waffle House. So, what you have, what, what's, your, what's your Waffle House order? My Waffle House order is the, the, was the Philly, the Philly steak pat or the patty melt uh-huh. with, uh, Maybe three or four egg whites, right? Hash browns, and then uh, I got to do a waffle, right? So I'll do okay. the sandwich with some egg whites and then a waffle, right? And Damien Priest probably makes more money, so he probably like doesn't want to go eat a waffle house. So it's <laughs> <laughs> like, what's like, what's like, what's like the heck? <laughs> so I don't know what it is. He's he, yeah. yeah, I mean, he's cool to go to like Cracker Barrel, and even after usually, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is a is a late night option for us as well because after Raw 11 p.m. it's hard to find right? something open. What what do you, so, what do you, what, do you, what do you get there? What do you get there? Buffalo Wild Wings, usually I'll do 10 to 15 boneless wings with uh, the the potato wedges. The potato wedges there are right. I, I used to go to Buffalo Wild Wings every Sunday and watch football, like, you know, for, for like five, six, seven years here in Vegas. What, uh, like, well, where, where else do you guys go? Like, what are the other good? Uh, I think Chipotle is also a big one, too, because we can get, uh, like, multiple meals off of there. Like, we'll get a bowl, eat the bowl, and then get a bowl for later that we can heat up after. So like live live events, I'll I tend to do that. Like I'll go to Chipotle after we work out. I'll eat the first bowl there, and then I'll get another bowl for after the show, and I'll eat it after my match or something. Right. We've well, got in good shape, you know. Yeah. So like uh, how how when did you start noticing it? Like when you take um, your shirt off, you look in the mirror, like gee, I look, I look all right now, you know. Yeah, I like I said, I think it started with the consistency, just being on the road and like working out with you know Austin, Rhea, Damian, Finn. Uh, just being around all those guys, even doing like the the Celtic Warrior workout with Seamus, like I had I had like what, even what's to that? this day, uh, where Seamus does like this, uh, he picks different superstars or you know uh, TV personalities or movie stars to come on his uh, uh, his YouTube channel and work out with him. So I went on there and I, I was able to like work out with him and kind of blow him up a little bit, which was like <laughs> I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do, but it was uh, right. it was fun, right. Well, that's cool. Yeah, you you do doing good, man. How uh, what's it like? You get still getting heat on the road. Although, did they let you talk on the mic before the matches? Like when you're on the road, the house shows. Yeah, you still do that. They yeah. they uh they like it when I do that. When I go out and can like try to cut a promo, especially if they need to like you know cut some time out of something or they need to save some time, I can go out there and play with a mic for you know two three minutes if necessary and pretend to cut a promo and uh you know still blessed to get food you know i i i can't tell you every city i go out to it's it's like uh it's like it gets louder and louder every time i try to they're, talk. they're not they're not piping anything huh no it's not pipe i'm not gonna attest to that <laughs> bro every every time you cut a project i just laugh every time like you said that. <laughs> that's like yeah it's I, I think by it, it, you know it yeah it's kind bro, of like, you know this kind of, guy yeah, you know this right. guy from uh from uh, aew don Callis. yeah yeah, and he actually Joke. when I was uh, when I was training at uh, at Lance Storms in Calgary, uh, Don Don Callis came to to one of the training sessions and watched this and kind of gave us some tips and advice. So it's kind of funny because Don, who's on the disco list, okay, uh, he when he was in AEW a couple months ago, bro, he was getting a lot of heat like you, and this is the funniest thing. It, it was termed Dom Heat. Dom heat. I was like, bro, you're goddamn wrong heat. Right. Uh, Don heat. I go, no, you're getting Dom heat, dude. And uh, uh, let me ask you, so when you're backstage, because like when I went to WrestleMania, I couldn't believe how many stars were in little cars going by, you know, like a lot of people show up at these events. Is there anybody that you've met, Dominic, that you had never met, but you kind of marked out when you saw him? Um, You know, I'm a big comic book guy. Like when it right. comes to like you know, TV comics, like when they do the, uh, like the CWs, the arrow flash, stuff like that. So when I met uh, Stefan Amell, I was, uh, I was like, damn, that's the arrow. That's pretty cool. I'm um, even like little Uzi too at uh, yeah. WrestleMania. Uh, I was there when your dad was, yeah, I go, what do you say? Cause I couldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like cer- certain guys, like even uh, Gabriel Iglesias, Fluff- Fluffy. Yeah. Fluffy. Like, I saw him like, there too. Yeah. I, I remember like sitting in like, Ninth, tenth grade, watching his comedy yeah. specials, thinking, "Damn, this dude, this is a funny ass dude." Laughing my ass off with the boys, and now I, he's coming to the shows, and I get to chop it up with him. Even uh, Jelly Roll too. I'm a big country guy now, so I know you told me that. Cool. What a hit! What's on your board? 
<laughs> What's on your playlist? Jelly Roll and who else? I uh, got Jelly Roll. I got Chris Stapleton, Morgan Wallen, Ooh, Ernest. Uh, what about any old old school country stuff? I'm, yeah, do you got the Johnny Cash going? Or I got Johnny Cash going. So, so, so this, this, so, so at work when 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 I, I work in the back, like, and the girls come into work, and the I, I play my own music, right? And I just get like, I'll either play like you know, like house sets like EDM, or I'll play like old school rock and roll. But sometimes I play like country, right? And this is my country playlist that, that I play when the girls come in. Thank, thank God, I'm a country no, boy. We're not a dick again. We're just blacked out. Are you there, Dom? Oh, yeah, there. Right. yeah, yeah. All right, so so th this is my uh, this is my um, uh, play. Thank God I'm a country boy, okay. Okay. Um, uh, what do you call it? The um, a country boy can survive, okay. Uh, friends in low places, and and pl uh, please don't take the girl. I played like those are the four country songs that I play with, like because I I'm not a big country fan, but there are some good like the A list country songs are really good. I like that two out of your four songs have the name Country Boy in it. Country Boy. Because <laughs> he's a country boy <laughs> from Marietta. Well, I don't think I am. I have a country boy from Marietta, and I grew up in the South. So it's like, you know. By the way, yeah. this, this is kind I, of I, a, si a side note, but you both you guys might have might have known him or met him or worked with him. Did you guys see Toby Keith pass away? Yeah, I saw that, yeah. I, 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 I didn't know. Everybody him. has. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me ask you, uh, so it, the, the, the devil went the, down to Georgia? Yeah, I can't hear you. Can, okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Can, can you hear us now? Can you hear us? Mm, I can hear you, Disco. Can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me? I can't hear Feedy or, or my Nina. That's interesting. Could he come on and on again or no, Joe? Well, I think we should do the podcast of me and Dom and you guys need to go play. <laughs> go play <laughs> uh, yeah, Disco, if you can't. Disco, tell him to, to leave and come back in, maybe. Yeah, yeah it's out his lips moving, but nothing's yeah, getting no. out. Dom, Dom, leave and come back in. All right. Yeah, yeah. just two, two seconds. But then as you take care of why is this being so fucking hard to deal with, Joe? It's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm ready for a Zoom switch, like permanently. But you know how it is when you get stuck. Like, remember how long we used to? It does seem for? like it does, does seem like 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 Streamyard has developed problems over the. Years. I know. Like when it's like weird. When we started off, it was it just fine. Now, good. Yeah. There now it's go. like with problems. So it's like it's yeah. weird. Yeah. Can you hear us all now? Yeah, I can hear you guys. Okay, cool. So is "Thank God I'm a Country Boy" or is that the song? Is that a yeah. is that a country song? Yeah, we'll laugh in the farm. No, the day in Georgia. No, no, no. The old country boy, the big uh, Okay, hat. stop. Early to rise, yeah, early in the back. Thank God, God I'm a country boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait it's a, a great hat. song. Right? First kiss of the day. <laughs> right. the, the, I know the song, but The Devil Went to Georgia. Is that a country song? Oh, yeah. 100% Charlie okay, D. I like that yeah. song. Uh, yeah. Um, it's a good song. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it on your, what's on your hip hop playlist, which we haven't gone over in a while? Oh man, uh, I've been throwing it back a little bit with some uh, a lot of Wu Tang lately, right. uh, a lot of Dre. Um, but this this new cat, uh, his name's the Mexican OT. He's a Mexican oh, yeah, from Texas. Yeah, he's from Houston. Yeah, yeah, I like Mexican OT. He just did a song with the baby. Um, so I mean, obviously, I I stick with the OGs. You know, Wayne, uh, Drake, Lil Baby. Um, but my my rotations, you know pretty it just i feel like it depends on the mood i'm in i can right. i can go country i can go hip-hop i can even go a little reggae so i think it like i said it kind of just well, you, yeah even with like damien and Rhea, they listen to a lot of like a like i i guess it's like metal or hard rock right so burp burp metal where they got i don't know oh, they got like, think, really like sounds and like yeah really, they like scream and i don't understand yeah, and then right. like, i don't understand it I, I that's the weirdest genre of music that I I can't like like people listen to that and like literally every single song sounds exactly the same. Believe it or not, you get used to it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you get used to. It. I found myself at the gym. I was like listening to Slipknot. I was like, the hell am I doing? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what's your gym? What's your gym? Uh, place at? Where would you? Where would... Uh, so I I like to go to the to a Crunch just because I have I feel like they're. They have like saunas most of the time, and like I can go in there and sweat it out. And uh, I have the the membership where I can go to like any crunch in the U.S. Right, so that helps out. But when I'm at home, I just you know when when my dad's not home, I come to his gym. How many minutes do you sit in the sauna at a time? Uh you. I like to do twenty minimum of 20? twenty. But if I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, but do, I'll do, I do twelve, twelve to twenty. Is it? That's, that's good. I think yeah. it's because when I was a kid uh, playing Pop Warner. One of my coaches uh, 
for me to try to make weight that day, he put me in the sauna for 30 minutes at a time all day. So I, I think that as a kid, I was like, damn, I fucking hate saunas. So now going in there, I got, I try to do like 20 minutes unless like I'll do 10 minutes before my workout, 10 minutes after, if not, I'll knock out the whole 20 at the end. You know, you know, what's weird as I got older, right? I never really, I just, you know, I exercise and stuff for the other. And I've never, ever had a health scare. Right. But like a couple months ago, I was, um, I was at a restaurant and I was having like a, like, uh, I had like a glass of wine at lunch. And I was having a drink at dinner. And I, was, I was drinking dinner and I was, I was like, Jesus Christ, but like my heart was like going ape shit. And I was like, I was like, these like, like did my pulse. I was like, I was like 130, 30 beats a minute. Didn't that eat dinner? Oh, and I was going like, what the frick is going on? And I'm thinking like, you know, I feel fine, I, but my heart is going crazy. I'm like, is, is this what happens like right before you have a heart attack? Right? So I finished dinner and I went to the emergency room, right? And, you know, they hooked me up and stuff and everything and all that. And they put the intravenous and everything. And like, I was like, what's wrong? And then I was like telling them, like, you know, I, I played poker last night. Maybe I probably had too many drinks. I woke up today. I had a drink and went. But I forgot to tell them that that day before I had gone in the sauna. I went to the spa and I had done like 40 minutes of sweating. Like like with, between the sauna. And like four, I went 40 minutes, right? And bro, the guy came like like two hours later. They, they go, I go, what's wrong? They go, you're, bro, you're just dehydrated. Yeah. When you when, when you get dehydrated, I had no no idea about this, right? Your heart starts compensating. So it's like every time like I've ever been like I, I go I now every time I go to the sauna, every time I go to the thing, I absolutely hydrate myself excessively keep when I'm fit keep drinking because like you know, you just you, your heart bears the burden of that I I never yeah. like that was the first time that had ever happened to me. But like if you ever feel your your heart going crazy, like you it's probably related to like you, you haven't had enough fluids or you maybe drank too much. Or you did you you were in the sauna and stuff, but you gotta yeah. you gotta rehydrate. I, I, that's like a hell of a tell anybody out there. Yeah, hot subs like that too, disco. Where you know you're not supposed to drink and all that because it's right. the same thing. Yeah, no, I never yeah. knew that. I because like usually like you go to the you 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 sweat in the in the, in the sauna and you want to like drink a beer afterwards because you get a good buzz because you're like you're dehydrated, but the, but it's not good for your heart, right? You know, so, yeah, so whatever, but. Yeah. yeah, usually I I try to do a good job of staying hydrated. I always try to drink at least a gallon of water, and I I very rarely drink soda too. And I I don't drink on the road. Very rarely, I'll have like an occasional mimosa at the airport or something. Well, when, on Sunday nights we do we we would do nitro on Monday. This was a tip, a, a, a trick I would do. I would have I wouldn't drink anything after eight o'clock on Sunday night. I would wake up in the morning, have like six ounce glass of water, and I wouldn't like no fluids. But on TV that night, I had abs. And after the match, I would like drink, you know, a shit ton of water and then go out after. But like, that's how, that's how I would get, like, I, I would look like I was in better shape because I would, I would dehydrate myself, like, for, you know, like 16 hours before I was on TV the next day, you know? So, no, no, it's, I don't know if anybody else does that. <laughs> yeah, it's an old, old school trick, right? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey Tom, um, so let me ask you a question. This new, new wave mullet that you're rocking, which I actually like, looks yeah. kind of cool. Um, when you first started rocking it, was it getting heat and you kept it on there or what was it? You're just, cause that, and I see a lot of people rocking that now. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like you right. said, there's a lot of people that have more, but he's about to, dude, nobody has a molar like mine. Right. <laughs> like this, no. no one has it at flow, the lusciousness, the cut. Lusciousness. Dude, mm -hmm. ain't nobody, my hair bounces. Yeah. Like well, I will say this. You know? Yours is definitely way better than Peso Pluma's. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm better looking. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you Let me ask you a couple of questions here, these rapid fire questions, hey, which we've never talked about. Favorite Padre players of all time? Ooh, all time? Uh, I was a big Zach Grinky guy right. growing yeah. up. Uh, Trevor Hoffman, obviously. I, I like uh, Trevor Hoffman. It's gonna be like, and then he, uh, he should be the Tony Gwynn and Trevor Hoffman should be one and two on any podcast. I was gonna say, to, obviously, you can't forget Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn. Right. Um, but then even the new school guys, I'm I'm a big Machado, Tatis. Uh, you know, bro. Let me ask you a question. How cool was meeting Tatis and Machado when you threw the first pitch? It was really cool being able to like just Machado being able to like take the time and like come chop it up with me and being like, right. hey. Like, I used to watch, you know, wrestling, you know, big fan of your pops. And he's like, keep doing what you're doing. I was like, man, that's fucking really cool. One of the best in MLB from, yeah. say, like, playing for San Diego right now. coming in And, and, take and time he, he gets extra bonuses because he's Cuban and he's from Miami. I would like meeting Mr. Excitement himself, Tatis. 
he seems like he's cool as fuck. He is. He is a super cool dude. Very humble. Uh, just a, a young cat man Touch out there. East? Just, yeah. Very humble. Yeah. 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 He was, really. I mean, with me, he was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. He just yeah. seems like a down. Like, just seems like a down to earth guy. Uh, then, then real in real life, you know, in person, I guess. But like, I don't know. I want. I, I want to <laughs> say see, this. I see the guy play. He's like. He's like a. Yo, very like you know, like he's a hot like, dog. He's a hot right, dog. Right. He's a well, yeah, I feel like when you when you play and stuff, you know that you get the you try to get the best out there, and you try to right. do all this rah rah to get you your teammates high. If you're out there playing, and you know, Ocho Cinco or To or fucking yeah. anybody that bat flips, they're young, dude. Um, right. so I will say this: even though your hair is more luscious than the most, <laughs> I will say first pitch rate right through a better first pitch. Second, oh, one, I he, guess. Okay, Wait. here's I, I'm not gonna have any excuses or anything, but right. did Sounds you throw like a shitty first pitch? No, I didn't throw not a better than Ray. No, it wasn't shitty. It wasn't like fifty cent or anything like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> but my I had done I had taken uh I had gotten shot up in my shoulder like right. two days prior, so I had a bunch of fluid in there still. Oh, so what my shoulder was right. 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 My, my shoulder was so <laughs> <just> stiff. <laughs> so <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> I can't heal from We're not letting you get away with right, that. Yeah. Okay. Right, my sh- uh, favorite, <laughs> favorite, uh, favorite Chargers. Chargers. Man, the Chargers. They left really? San Diego. Yeah, but that's Spanos' fault. That's not the... This is... This is... This is... Let me, act, let me explain something to you, Okay. Because I'm a transplant from Miami, but lived here many years. I fell in love with the Chargers, and I feel in my heart that all the time I invested, all the games I went to, including the one I got arrested on, the, I think you were there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, right. Uh, to the um, to all the time I invested, all the games I went to, all the games that I've seen, right? I'm not going to let that go away just because some fucking greedy motherfucker moved the team. My heart stays with the Chargers. That's fair, but... At this point now, yeah. I feel like, you know, I'm big charger guy. And then after that, I wanted to stay in California. So I, I went with the 49ers. But now I'm in Vegas. Right. You're a Raider. Oh, did, you, did you move here already? Yeah, I'm a fun. Where, where, where did you out in Vegas? Uh, yeah. West, West Summerlin. Style. Oh, yeah. It's a good part of near your dad, right? Yeah, that's a good. good. I, I just I just moved above the M to, to okay. the Parada. It's a good, really good area. It's, it's, it's good, good for, do you have dogs? It's like I do. I have a little there, boxer pit. There's there's huge dog parks everywhere here. It's like it's like a dog oh, house. Awesome. Yeah, up up in this part of town. Yeah. Okay. So I'm excited to be out here in Vegas. So yeah. yeah. But but yeah. to answer your question for favorite Chargers, uh, Sean Merriman. Um, oh, what a beast. Uh, obviously, you know the Junior Seau, huh? Luis I'm, Castillo, I'm, and all I'm, the defense alignment. Yeah, of course. I'm Dan. I'm Dan. Natron, Natron, Natron Natron Natron. Natron. I'm Dan Fouts and Killer Winslow. Great guy. Dan, great, yeah. Great Dan dance. Fouts and Killer Winslow are my two. OG, OG Drew Brees was a stud. Uh, Vincent guy. Jackson. Um, Antonio Hops. Gates. Yeah, LT. Gates. Yeah. yeah. It was a shame, bro, because we had the best team in football for like three years straight. And then fucking Phillip Rivers, who never got injured, gets injured. And then LT, who never gets injured, gets fucking injured. Yeah, and then I, we had, and then we had to go through the is. fucking undefeated Patriots at the time, yeah. too, yeah. when yeah. when Sarah was still on their side playing. Isn't that crazy but, that the year that Rivers blew, got a, blew his AC? Like, remember that back then? Blew yeah. his ACL out, ACL out and but they put on an e-brace and played the next week. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't have to Like, that would never happen today. Dr. Like, Chow probably like, shot him up with some cortisone. Yeah, right. right. And right. you know, yeah. and you know what, what's what, one of the things that I've always liked about Phillip Rivers, but he's a lot like Tom Brady this way. Sometimes when his receivers were hurt, you could put anybody out there and they'd get the ball to them. Both Brady and, and Rivers were really good at that. Okay, here's another question, uh, Dom. Let's say you've got the the munchies and the only place to eat is the gas station. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what are you rocking a pop tart, a cup of soup, a chorizo burrito, a hot dog or a hot pocket? Fuck. I would probably do a pop tart. Right. And man, I, I, I'm going to call, I'm calling you out, Cody. Yeah. You want to actually eat cooked food from a gas station? Okay. Oh, like a say, hot dog no, 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 explain something. Like let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. Wait, wait, let me explain something to you. Okay, and we've all been there, okay? You're out in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing open except the gas station. You're right. And it's gas station or starve, 
That's okay. fine. There's, 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 okay. there's I'm going to eat something. I don't give a. Made I had a, a I had a pulled pork sandwich from Bucky's the other day because there was nothing open. Right. One of the things they have in the fridge, you get and then the wrap, and you got to stick it in the right way. No, no, it was actually since it was Bucky's, it was like this big like. What's Bucky's? I've never. You've never been to a Bucky's? Oh no. So it's it's uh I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm not going to show the logo actually. <laughs> uh, but it's like this beaver, almost like a gigantic uh like gas. It's like a super gas station, and they have like like their own store inside where you can get like fucking literally anything you can think of like and hot food they'll have it hot and ready where it's like just slid down almost like at a like when you see the fast food in the back when they slide the sandwiches down like the right the heating grill so that's how that's how they have them so i just grabbed like a pulled pork sandwich from there so it's like a, well i guess that's the the vegas uh like wawa or sheets or something like that royal farms yeah. that's like, like, a big, like a like a bigger wawa do you uh do you cheat and eat a, eat a burger every once in a while yes Okay, where's your so, so we're in Vegas now. Which what's your favorite burger place in Vegas? In and out. Really? i oh been, my god. I oh, I, I got I got to call I, I have grew up with that. I'm sorry, I have to call you out of this. So let me let me call out the now, A lot of people say What's your go-to burger? You said you said water burger. That's what he No, no, no. No, no. So fat burger and five guys. By fat bar. So I like I like five guys, but it's it's not I don't think five guys is better than in and out for Oh the my quality god! Quality of I, what you're paying, yeah, really? yeah, and it's like overpriced, guys. I'm out, guys. Dude, I want you to do an experiment, Tom. <laughs> I want you to go to Burger King and get a double cheeseburger. I want you to go to In and Out get the double double. I want you to pull the bun away from both of the burgers and tell me that the patties are not completely identical from the Burger King double d- double and the and the In and Out double double. It's just different bread. I think we're gonna have to agree to disagree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in and Out is such a tourist. Like a, I like I, uh, shit, I I get so frustrated. Let me ask you a question too. Do you do you put ranch dressing on the pizza? I do. Do you really? I dip it because I don't like. Yeah, yeah, I don't like. like yeah, that's, 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 that's a West Coast yeah, yeah. Put the boom. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like. I don't like overdoing it with the ranch. So I'll just dip my pizza in the ranch. Oh ah, fuck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I've heard oh, it, I've yeah. pulled my pizza. Yeah. We hold. Oh, we hold so we're, dearly. So that's why go Sammy to- Guevara has heat because he's a, a milk first guy with the so, cereal. Uh, like, do you uh, like Korean? Do you like Korean barbecue? I do like Korean barbecue, uh, but I hate. Okay, this, I hate thing. that I have to cook this shit myself. What, no, no, no. Like, you go. Like, do, do, pull that mic. Pull that mic again. Uh, uh, away again, Di. Sorry. There's an excellent, excellent all you can eat Korean barbecue at the uh, intersection of Sahara and Apache at Fort Apache. Okay. okay. Go go check it out and get get the pr- the premium. They have like the, the three tiers against like 40, 40 something bucks. But one of the best Korean dude is that Korean the one that we went with Ray with and Joe. No, 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 I found another place. It's even okay. better. Than oh, the shit. The oh. Kids. But yeah, it's oh, like- your dad brought me to this place. Oh, Disco was there. Tell him the place that he brought me to in Vegas to eat that we all ate with his mom. Uh, Ma- Ma- uh, Master Kim's. No, 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 no. We ate like pancakes and shit. Remember? We're oh, is that the uh, the that's the, the, where they brought you the, the doll, they brought you the Alexa Bliss doll. Was that Remember? oh oh, oh uh, what you call it? Uh, Lily? All right, what's it with you? No, um, what's it called? Uh, is it Hash House? Hash House, yes. Hash yeah, house. I like you, that. You go there? Yeah, my parents love Hash House. Yeah, Ray Ray. You don't? Ray, Ray, Ray. I love I love Hash yeah, House yeah, too. Yeah. I just don't like I. I mean, I'd rather. Yeah, I'm a grown ass man. I don't want to go. Eat what, my parents, what's your What's your go to <laughs> What's your go to restaurant things? Oh, no, that's ah. Uh, honestly, oh, let me I, just say this, dude. You're always gonna be like a heli good little boy, so. Right. You can knock that off right now. <laughs> right. I, dude, I love me a good set of chicken tenders. Like, right. Like if I can go to like a raisin. What's canes, the best place to get them? Raisin, raisin canes? canes is actually really good. No, but here, here's the thing about raisin canes: they don't have ranch, so that's a big. That's yeah, a big. I like, uh, that, I like that sauce though they, that they have. The that's sauce big. is cool, but like I don't like that they're telling you that you can only have our sauce. Like fuck right. that! If I want to put some ranch on your chicken tenders, like I want to put some ranch on it. Well, do this. Go, go to. So, Smith. if you ask for ranch, they won't bring you any. They don't have it. They only have their sauce. Uh, go, yeah. go to Smith's. Go to Smith's, and they and they uh, where they sell the baked and fried chicken. They have uh, little packets of like blue cheese ranch. Everything. Get the little packet of ranch and go go to Raising Canes and then dip it. Yeah. So what I do now is I just go to Raising Canes, bring it home, and I have like the, I think it's a sixteen ounce of ranch from Chick Fil A. I'll just right. like a pump. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. Well, if you ranch it out. Next- I mean, you'll obviously be here in the Philly area in a couple of months for Mania and all, but next time 
you know, you're just traveling after a show, Philly, Baltimore. I'm not sure. They're probably somewhere around the area. Go to a Royal Farms and mm-hmm. get their get their chicken. You know, you can get chicken tenders or fried chicken or whatever. Yeah, that's Royal like Farms. famous for hey. having your best okay. being hey, go, or chicken. Go, 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 question is, question, question because. Have you noticed there's not, there's not a lot of good Mexican restaurants in Vegas, which is surprising. No. It's weird. There's, you're not going to get, here's the thing about Mexican food. Unless you're close to the border, and I don't care what you're saying about, or people in LA say that they got the best Mexican food, they you're do. still two hours away from the border. I don't care what you say, LA. Your food is not, Mexican food is not better than San Diego's because we're li- like, right. San Diego we're Mexican food, border. it's literally, you got people coming from Tijuana, the other side for cook it. Right. Hey. Yeah, like literally. So, well, that that's the best thing about Vegas is the food trucks are literally yeah. the best Mexican Mexican food in town. So that's like on the food truck. I'll be the judge of that. Right? <laughs> Have you eaten? You should start so, doing vlog, vlogs where uh, you, you you test out. A, you, you're in Vegas now. You test out. Why not, man? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Food trucks, right? yeah. Like even on the yeah. road, we'll see like like Damien or Rio point out like a hey, there's a Mexican food spot. I'm like, don't you guys fucking <laughs> in the middle of. <laughs> I'll the man learned something. Okay, uh, you like tacos. I like tacos. Everybody in your family likes taco. Actually, best taco place in uh, in San Diego. Oof, in San Diego. So there's, I don't know the name of this of this place, but it it's on Terra Nova, right. and it's by it's like by where the Costco is. It's on Terra Nova. I don't remember. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Your dad brought me there with that. that yes. That. Yes, I know you're talking about like tacos little strip are strip mall thing. Yeah. And not it's it's like tucked in a little corner there. Yeah, so yeah, those yeah. tacos are fire. You can't go wrong with tacos OG either. Down in in uh on H Street or in Chula Vista. Tacos are phenomenal. But then we got when? burritos, the tacos LG down in uh Chula by uh yeah, yeah. Chula Vista Mall. Yeah. And then you got burritos down in uh there's this place also on Terra Nova called Los Panchos. That yeah. place Hands down, top three burrito places in San Diego. Same with Ortiz's and Point Loma. How about Gordo's? Ta- Tacos. O- I've never had their burritos. Let me ask you a question, dude. Do you know anybody else? Like, who else lives here that uh, you're friendly? Like, do you have any like friends in town or anything, or just like you just? Um, in- there's actually a couple. I was uh flying into Vegas uh, last week. There was a couple of us, um, like a good amount of us on a flight coming down here that I didn't know lived out here in Vegas. Uh, like who? Who lives here? Uh uh, Vinci from Imperium. Gian- down here. Vin- Cody calls him Gianardo da Vinci. Yeah, uh, gonna- <laughs> Vinci's down here. Uh, I saw Oscar on the flight coming down. Um, she lives I know here? Rick. Yeah, I know Ricochet. Ricochet just moved out here as well, I believe. Everybody's going to move there eventually. Bro, so it's no state it's income a- tax. I don't know why people just yeah, don't a- start flying. It's it's a good place. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get Damien out here. If if you so. if you if you, if you take those. Those early flights, like before the six o'clock, six in the morning, and stuff like that, bro. There's no line at the TSA. Yeah, like you're literally just walking into the airport through the thing into the plane. Like you leave, like not, leave your house. Not only that, on the, on the, the flight, you know. Yeah, on the entertainment tip, Dom, you get all the concerts that like San Diego doesn't yeah. get residencies. You know, yeah. you got all the all the major sports teams are playing there. For sure. You know, the and the one Super thing Bowl is going to be there. Yeah, yeah, it's UFC. true. And you got the Oakland A's, at, or now Las yeah. Vegas A's coming down. And we'll, the one thing we'll too, see about that. Did you hear about that? Yeah, yeah. No, the, what happened? The, the, the mayor's pissed at the team. Yeah. Because they're kind of like throwing some outrageous demands in. And, the, and she's saying, I don't know how this is going to work. They should just, she actually literally said they should just stay in Oakland. Well, what yeah. the, the thing is that they don't, Sorry, supposedly that they're not going to be able to play in their own stadium for a couple of years. And she's like, "Well, just stay here in the meantime and see if we can work. We, we can work it out, right? But they're gonna yeah. be gone. I think uh, so too. We got uh, uh, Conrad just got home. What do you want? You want to do? You want to do another few minutes with Dom and then wrap, yeah. wrap it up here. Let's get a couple okay. of questions in here. Let me let me ask, let me let me ask Dom one thing. Let me ask Dom one thing because we've talked about TV shows and stuff on here before when he's been on. But the last time he hadn't seen The Sopranos yet. So have you uh, dug into The Sopranos at all yet? So. You might not like this answer, and you might like it. I don't know. So I'll I'll hit you with it. So I watched the entire first season of Sopranos. Yep. And I I liked it. I enjoyed it. But I don't know what happened where I just kind of started falling off of it. But mm-hmm. same thing happened with Game of Thrones. I watched the first two seasons 
three times before I actually got hooked in yeah. Game of Thrones. Did you so I, really? Yeah, because I I watched the first I watched the first season and I was like, oh, this shit sucks. <laughs> and then I yeah, actually watched it again, at- and then I watched. I watched it again because everyone was like, dude, you got to just sit through it and pay attention. Because the first time I wasn't really paying attention to it. Right. And then you. Yeah. So then I watched it. Yeah. On your computer. You really- yeah. It was right, just, right. you know, I I had a, at the time, uh, I think the Nintendo Switch had just come out. So I was like playing on my Nintendo while watching it. Right. And then like the after the third time I watched it, I was like, okay, this is actually pretty good. So I think that I, I have to do that with Sopranos because I watched the whole first season like three months ago. And I just never started season two, so I. Oh, bro, that you don't. Know and it really, that yeah, it really incredible. It, it picks up too. Season two is like when you really now you know the characters. Twist, so it's lots yeah. of twists. There's great heels. There's a great babe, bro. It's fucking well written. Well, yeah, and acted. fucking Uncle Junior gets me hot. So like, yeah, and I'm only on season one, and I'm like, yeah. God damn. Well, it's a it's a first series in history where the lead character got killed. In the last episode, they, they well, killed that's the Thrones. character. I'm like, Some yeah. About Thrones. Yeah, yeah. So that's, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah. Uh, I always, and we talked about this on the show recently, too, because Conan's a big fan of this season. It, uh, and the one that's on now, Conan, the True Detective that's on now, is getting buried. But um, True Boy, Detective's. Good or not. I don't I, care what people say. It's usually. way off, dude. It's not, it's not, it's weird. Um, <laughs> True Detective season one, Dom, with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. It's only eight episodes. Oh, oh did you'll you see that? love it, dude. No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah. my god, bro! Get that, get that going. It's only That's six great. episodes, and I think which is the one where they do that unedited scene? Scene four, episode four. Yeah, bro, look at the end of episode four. One of the greatest scenes in the history of TV. Damn, have you guys seen the movie The Beekeeper with Jason Statham? No, you should check it out. That's a that's, that's good. A, that's a good one. You know which one I saw, and I told your dad to watch it, and he liked it. Did you see Blue Beetle? I did see Blue Beetle with George Lopez. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, that? I, I liked it. I didn't think it yeah. was bad. Yeah. For I um, all I... Bro, you know why I liked yeah. it? Because that family in that movie reminded me of just about every Mexican family I know. Yeah, they did a good job. Some yeah. crazy shit happens, and then right. they're just like, eh, yeah. so how's your yeah. day going? Right. And then they get together, and chinga tu madre, and all that, and then and yeah. they use and they good, and they use some good Mexican regional music. Yeah, yeah, the only sure thing like Bond and shit like that. I do. I, I fucking yeah. love Bond, but yeah. the only thing I hate about movies like that is when yeah. they get people in there that like speak like yo no hablo Spanish, like or yo si right. sabo Spanish. Right. Like if you speak Spanish, like I don't want to hear like a uh, like you fucking up saying da yo te quiero hablar. Like no, if you speak Spanish, you fucking speak Spanish. Pretend right. to be the uh, in the Mexican right. family. That's the only thing I don't like about movies like that. But that's just me nitpicking at this point. And I, I, I would agree with that. I'm, be, I'm very nitpicky on that too. Um, so right now, are you? You're not in a feud with anybody, right? I mean, we're kind of trying to fucking get rid of our church. You give, give us a right. breath, kind of a clue as to what you might be doing at WrestleMania. I have no idea what I'm doing at Mania. Interesting. I like I, I, I don't know. Uh, what do you think you might be doing? I mean, Honestly, put I'd... him on TV and have him go uh, like eat, make like in and out hamburgers or something like you know. Like... Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> shit, I'd do that. I'll host WrestleMania and eat in and out hamburgers. Right, right, right. You should come out, yeah. come out with Damien, right after The Rock wins the belt from Roman. Damien is going to come out and cash in, and Dom will come out, and then they'll beat the shit out of The Rock. So that's yeah, that's what I. Honestly, think. they don't, they don't. I don't really get a heads up on anything when it comes to like, uh, you know creatives and stuff unless i like care, I, though, I go right? and ask you sure oh, i right yeah i like tell me what to do and i'll do my best to go out there and make it look as best as possible you're not politic- the best of my abilities you're just you're just you're you're, you're not politicking for things yeah i'm not in a position to be politicking i'm very blessed to be in the position that i'm in so i'm not going to be poking at any bears or fingers or anything i'm just Tell me what to do, and I'm here for it. Yeah, you're paid, bro. You're fucking having fun. Bought a new house, bacon. You're with your boys. Yeah, you're man. traveling. You have, you have a lot of money. money, you know. Just right. I'm with- I'm happy. I'm fucking having a blast doing it, especially with the crew that I'm doing it with, because you know I've become actual friends with everybody there. So being able to just go out there and have fun, man, and beat the shit out of people is having a blast. Stay vicious. Good. Stay vicious on your punches and kicks. It's your body language stuff, so. You got, I got you. Two time and I just I, I still, yeah. All right, cool. Awesome. Okay, well, hey, Dom, continued success. Te quiero un chingo. 
And as usual, thank you very much for being on Keeping a 100. Boom. Thank you, guys. Yes, I was, you know, I'll hit you guys up. All right. Love you, bro. Awesome. All right, man. Take care.